it's your boy the gang the and thank you for clicking on this video now this is episode three of the group iron man series that myself t and richie is that so uh, however you pronounce it yeah no that's not even our names in this fucking oh it is actually no it, no it is that's technically you're still t i suppose <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Technically, Lou is still Richie. So, right, let's try again. Hey, how you doing? It's your boy, the gangly goat. Or Effie goat here for episode three of the group Iron Man. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Uh, what I'm doing right now at the beginning of this episode is trying to get a little bit of bank. So, making a few more rings. Going to head on down to Grums, go and get them sold. And then sort of crack on with the plan for this episode. Um, want to get a few things done. Got a couple of quests I want to get done, like Prince Ali Rescue. Corsair cast, that sort of stuff. Want to get my rune crafting grind started. Where I've got my 7000 essence to turn into mind runes so I can level up my mage. That's definitely a big one to get done. And I want to get some range levels this uh, episode as well. So I just want to say a massive thank you to this video and this channel's first ever sponsor, HelloFresh. They're an online food delivery company that prides themselves on making meal times fun and easy for everybody. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not that great in the kitchen. I know my way around a little bit, but HelloFresh makes me look like an absolute master chef, better than Gordon Ramsay. The food that they provide is top quality, really, really fresh from farm to door within seven days. Some of the meals that you can prepare are absolutely phenomenal and they can be done in less than 15 minutes. And not only that, as a father of four, meal times need to be fun, but also need to be providing all the nutrients and all the good stuff that your children need to be able to grow up into the adults that you want them to be. HelloFresh does that so, so easy. So try HelloFresh today. Click the link below for a special limited time discount plus free shipping and go and check them out. So here we are. Last bag of last bag of rings, last load of rings. Screw it, I'm gonna sell them all there. Uh, and we are sitting on a roughly 140k cash tag. Talk to Captain Talk. What's happening now? Killed Elthoy poisoning your crew. Got there we go. Another quest done. Corsair curse. Level 34 boss. Now do we say back to. Congrats. That's right. Take so them back to Remington. Travel. Right click travel and we're back. So another quest done. Dusted. Not got many left to do on this now. And there we have a level 40 fishing. Now I'm probably going to do 50 fishing here at the Barbarian Village doing fly fishing. 40 fishing is a bit of a... Well, you unlock lobsters, but you don't really... It takes ages to catch them. So probably just going to stick with this until about 50 fishing, I reckon, anyway. And there we have it, level 40 woodcutting. So that is our third skill to level 40. Gonna go ahead and cook all the fish that we caught going up to level 40. And we're gonna burn all the logs to see what cooking and fire making levels we get up to. Then I think we're gonna probably head on and do a little bit of combat. Get some of our combat stats up. We haven't started range yet, so that is a possibility. Or we might crack on with one of the clues, maybe, we picked up. As we were cutting. And here we have the second clue of the series. Second beginner clue of the account. Can we get one of those unique things like 16 or something? We get Sandwich Lady hat. A blue wizard hat. And a longbow. I think Sandwich Lady hat. Is that here? Collection log slot thing. Let's have a quick look. Uh, it's in here. Yeah, it must be, because we didn't have one. Yes, it is. Two completed, and we got the hat of the sandwich lady. So we just need the top and the bottoms now. What else is a black pickaxe? Ornament kits. Monk's rope tea. Wow. I didn't realize there was these things on there. Lovely. So, sandwich lady hat. 
one down first out of 1,443 collections obtained. Nicely done. So here we are finishing off the last of the steel bars. I mean, uh, me and the, the Tarkov pulled together, banded together to get me some iron and some coal so that I could make about 400 odd steel bars and turn them into steel scimitars just to get my smithing up. And we're well on the way to getting level 40 in all the stats and free to play in preparation and getting ready for the final quest dragon slot. The reason why I chose steel scimitars is because they sell for about 220 GP as a high elk value. Um, you can sell them to obviously the scimitar shop in Alcarid, or I can head on to the um, or I can head on to the shop out in the wilderness, the Rogue's Den or whatever it is, because they sell for high elk there. Got a few different bits, some steel plate legs and stuff that I want to get sold there as well to make a little bit of money. Here we are, burning the last of the logs that we got from getting our wood curtain up to level 40. And I reckon this final bag of logs will probably get us one more level. So we're just doing the sort of the grind, getting some of these skill and stats up to level 40. Then we're going to spend a bit of time doing some combat, do a bit of time doing some quests and things like that. But we just want to get these, these knocked out of the way. And there we are, level 44 fire making. Easy peasy, well on the way. And there we have level 42 cooking. So we've got our fishing up to level 40. Doing fly fishing from 30 to 40. And now we've got our cooking up to level 42. So what I'm going to do is finish off this salmon and then definitely move into all of this combat stuff that I keep on talking about over the last couple of skills. Just wanted to get these last few skilling bits done before moving into that side of stuff. I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up doing a bit of AFK rune crafting as well. Getting those mine runes up so that we can start getting our mage level up because we're currently at level 10. And a big thing that we need to start looking at soon is getting our range level up. Because if we want to do Dragon Slayer, then range is going to be a big help at that quest. I think before we do the range, though, are we going to leave that to the last combat stat? I think I have all the combat stats. I'm going to focus on doing um, attack strength and defense, first of all. I'm probably going to spend a bit of time down at Big Frogs, or Giant Frogs, whatever they're called. Because they drop big bones. I don't want to get my prayer level up because at the moment it's currently level 12 and I want to try and get that up as high as possible especially getting ready for Dragon Slip so I'll go do these last six salmon and then I'll see you at the next point point. and here we are down at Giant Frogs and we've just got 30 attack I completely missed the level I'm recording but you can see it down there in the chat it's at level 30 so we're going to move on to strength and events get them onto level 30 and then get cracking on with something else and then probably get level 40 attack jump and events in the last video just before smashing elvarg's head off or smashing his head off no we rip his head off before we rip off elvarg's head get a 40 attack jump for defense i reckon and there we have 30 strength 30 attack 30 strength now on to defense And there we have it, 30 defense. Get this frog finished. We've got our attack, strength and defense up to 30. And then we're going to head on over and crack out a couple more quests, I reckon, before the end of this episode. We get these bones buried as well, and that'll probably take us up to around about 20 prayer. We're currently sitting at level 19. So these bones will probably get us up to 20 prayer. So let's start burying and see what happens. Yeah, they should do. And there it is. 20 prab. And obviously, we still got to get our attack. Strength and defense up to 40. Got our Raging Mage up to those levels as well. So, we should 
easily get to 40 per hour as well. The amount of frogs and hill giants and stuff like that that we will kill along the way. Right, so let's head on and get a couple of quests cracked out. And there we have it. Black Knight's Fortress over and done with. 2.5k and 3 quest points. Lovely jolly. On to the next one. And there we go. Completion of Below Ice Mountain. 1 quest point. 2,000 coins and access to the ruins of Camdazal. Another quest done and dusted. Ready for episode 3. And there we have it. Alcarid. Alcarid. Prince Annie Rescue. Done and dusted. One more quest to go for this episode 3. Half of the bounty. This comes with exactly 600 GP. Break the bank, 600 GP, and another quest done. And I think this is a perfect place to end the episode. Quite a few levels up 40 smithing, mining, fishing, over 40 cooking and fire making, wood cutting. Got a couple of stats up to level 30 as well, which is quite nice. Still got range and fair mage to do. But we are slowly getting there. And we have one quest left. Dragon Slayer Part 1. So, I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hit the like, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. All that lovely stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Adios. Thank you.